uh, hi everyone uh, in this uh, video I will show you how to make a calculator using the hand landmarks uh, if you see here I have this calculator uh, let me clear You see, and I like this. So, yeah, first of all, we need to import uh, media pipe, uh, CV2, Tkinter, and uh, PIL. So, then we need to make the frame or the form of the, of the, of the GUI. Then we put a frame inside the form. Then we need two labels. We need uh, three labels, in fact. Uh, so yeah, one one label for uh, displaying the video, and uh, one level for uh, showing this indicator uh, like if you see here this indicator and one level for sh showing the results okay and uh, we have a small button here to clear the result and as usual we have this uh, two PIL uh, function is uh, just to display the video on the form then we have uh, this uh, lines and uh, these two functions is to draw th these lines okay these lines and uh, to display them as uh, rectangles and uh, then we have function for calculating it's a very simple calculating if you see here we just uh, read the text or the string from the result from the label result and uh, we also read uh, the string from the indicator Okay, we initialize the C like equals indicator if the indicator is equals equal okay we loop inside the result if the result is minus so we split the result using the minus using the minus mark okay and then we show the result and uh, the same the same uh, step for the other marks okay and uh, when we show the rectangles and the numbers when we show these numbers and rectangles or the this is the main function the main cal calculating uh, steps is in this function so I have this uh, it's I called it time but in fact it's not uh, time it's uh, like uh, for the uh, counting then we have uh, four arrays to hold the numbers and the signs 
then we have the size of the font and the color and though we, and, and then we we loop inside these arrays one by one so the first one from 0 to 4 and we put the text and then we have this uh, if you see this uh, function this function here takes three variables RGB X and Y so yeah inside the finished for loop uh, we will put the text the first text is the, the index of the column number one okay it's one four seven and dot and uh, then we have uh, if statement so if uh, x and uh, y x and y uh, this x and y we will give them from where we'll give them from uh, from this uh, CX and CY from the position of the landmarks okay or from the landmark from the ID number 8 so yeah the first column the second one the third one the fourth one and uh, so on okay if you see here 147.147. and uh, 2580 and uh, so on. So, this is the main idea it's uh, like to put the uh, columns and to put the text inside uh, the columns, then loop inside this, uh, these columns and get the result. So if you see here, we have this uh, function, calculating function. And uh, in the first column, we put the uh, index call one, one. And in the second one, we put index call two, and uh, so on. And then we read the video from the camera. Then we display it. We display that uh, video. Uh, there's few steps. It's normal steps uh, like if you use uh, uh, OpenCV, then we use MediaPipe to get the hand uh, landmarks. Then we put the we display the columns and the rows. Uh, this uh, these two functions is to display the lines or the rectangles in fact you see rectangles not the lines yeah but uh, the truth is uh, these lines like uh, are making the rectangles so yeah after we get the ID of the landmarks like uh, I'm using ID number 8 uh, which is uh, this one uh, this one uh, this one the first one here and I get the position of this uh, ID and I send the coordinates X and Y to the function, to this function, and uh, that's it.